Uh, it's a quarter after or quarter to four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I woke up with an idea. Um, I need to make a war bonnet for this uh, warrior here. And I'm gonna, I want to start doing uh, the feathers for it. And I have a ton of feathers that I've made a long time ago for something else that I can resize for this one. So I figured while I'm awake, which may be an hour or two, and then I'll go back to bed, but uh, I figure I can start at least preparing the feathers for this war bonnet. Yesterday, I was going to try to get in here and sculpt, but I spent the day putting up curtains in my studio because my studio gets so hot in the summertime and this window faces south and that sun, that summer sun just boils in here in the daytime and I can't come down here and work until late so I put up curtains yesterday and it will these are blackout curtains so that it, it'll keep the sun out of my studio so it'll be a little cooler and a lot less bright and that means I can come down here a lot earlier to work on my clay alright I'm gonna go upstairs and start working on these feathers I'll be right back well later time to play with some clay I've got pictures that I've researched on the uh, web. The style of uh, the Cheyenne headdress is uh, it's kind of like this one here where it's a little more sloped back from the forehead. I've uh, scaled my uh, feathers to the size I need for the head measurement that I have on this uh, warrior. And so now I have a box full of feathers that I made for another piece probably more than a year ago and I just uh, for some reason or another decided not to use them and so I stored the feathers away here and I'm just going to have to resize them. Let me grab one and see what kind of a size difference it's going to be. And as you can see it can as you can see, it's going to be a, a real big size difference. But I can adjust that. It's not a big deal. Um, it's just a matter of uh, using uh, one of my wire sculpting tools. It's a matter of uh, find it. There it is. trimming it and uh, shaping it uh, with my wire uh, uh, sculpting tool. My brain is not working at... Well, it's almost six o'clock now in the morning. I've, that's how long I've been working on this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to bed. I'm not going to work on that, uh, the headdress today or during the daytime. I'm going to work on uh, putting a blanket on the back of the horse and uh, preparing to mount the warrior on the horse. Uh, I, that's the plan right now. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. This is the life of an old man. He sleep for a couple hours here and a couple hours there. And uh, I get used to it. You don't fight it. If you're awake, get up and do something and then go back to bed. But it sometimes means you sleep till about noon or one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna to try to get down there early enough uh, to work on my clay now that I've got the curtains up in the studio and uh, we'll see how far I can get. By the way, the scaling of uh, the feathers, I, I cover in, I think, several of my instructional videos where I actually have feathers uh, in the uh, video. So I'm gonna say good morning. <laughs> I'm going back to bed.
Well, you can see how bright that sun gets into the windows that face south here in my studio. This is actually my garage. You can see my car there. But this, with my blackout curtains, I don't have that problem while I sculpt this afternoon. I'm down here several hours earlier than I normally would be to work on this clay. I must say though, today I'm just not with it as far as sculpting goes. I guess one way to get rid of the blahs, which I have today, is to just start working on it. Now this isn't the right size hole for the uh, flag, but I'm just trying to see how I'm going to have this in his hand. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, making the hand in such a way that I can, when we ship the bronze, when it's finished, if we ship it with a pole like this in bronze, it'll bend. And we, I, I don't want it to bend, I want it to stay straight. And the only way to do that is to have a hole in the hand where you can slide the, the flag down into the hand once the uh, person gets his bronze. And then it's just a matter of having the flag in the right angle. But that's everything I have to try to figure out how to do. And uh, it, it's all daunting to me right now because I'm trying to think how I'm going to do it. It's like everything else. I mean, I don't have a set of plans I can follow. I got nothing to really tell me how to do this. So I basically have to do this as I go along. And it's not always easy to do that. If I'm not gonna have his shirt on, I'm gonna have muscles in his arms shown. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using the arm from my maquette to show me the uh, muscles, which is extremely helpful. This maquette that's uh, standing over to the side here, but they're very expensive. Good reference material is always going to cost you money because that's how they make their money by selling you a product that will help you.
trying very hard not to make it really muscular. But the angle of the arm forces some of the muscles to bulge a bit. And for that reason, I've got to make them bulge. Now I gotta decide which of these uh, wooden dowels is the right size for the uh, flag pole. Is it that one or this one? This one seems more feasible for the size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a piece of this and uh, put it in his hand and form his hand around it and then pull it out and see what happens. So I cut off a small section of that pole. If I put the whole pole on there, it'd be too much weight and it would fall out of his hand. So this way I can at least form around it. I'm just working out the hand right now, just Trying to see how it works. See, see what I'm talking about? I can take the flag and stick it up into the hand like that. And uh, I won't be able to... Now, I'll try to do that as I'm working on this, but it's, the clay is not going to be strong enough to hold the whole flag. And it's, I just got to figure out how I'm going to sculpt it in the hand and I've got to also figure out how I'm going to have the flag end up in the same position once the client gets the bronze so that it's not hanging out here and I want it hanging back here. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to line that up. I'm going to have the flag right up against his hand and the pole down here. And uh, I'm thinking if I do that and I have the flag deformed in some way, where his hand meets the flag and the pole, it will it will automatically line the uh, flag up where it should go. I just these are just little technical engineering things I got to figure out. <laughs> you got to be kind of an engineer when you're a sculptor, and you got to work out all kinds of things that uh, you wouldn't think that you'd have to learn out. But that's what makes it fun. And uh, I'm glad I continued working today, even though I was not in the best of moods to do it. Uh, sometimes you just got to kind of work through it. All right, that'll do it for today. And I'll pick this up next time. I've got this side of the, the back, I think, pretty much where I want it. I got the uh, stress wrinkles in his body because of the positioning he's uh, taking himself. I'm liking it. I like the way the arm looks. It looks like he's actually holding on to it tightly, the flag. I will work on this side and this arm next time. I've got to uh, put a rifle in that hand and uh, get 
get that all worked out. Little steps at a time makes a mile. Just came up with that idea. <laughs> that little bit of a saying. Little steps make a mile. I didn't want to do this today, but I stuck with it. And uh, I'm actually enjoying it now. Anyway. I'll correct that. that. I don't like that crease in his side there. All right, that's going to be it tonight, and I'll see you next time. Have a great night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.